monks walking barefoot around Thailand. Who are they? What, where, could you be a Buddhist monk? Monks give up all possessions and use of money to best follow the Eightfold Path. We'll go into more depth later, but basically by living the most simple life, they're able to better identify their own suffering to best grow towards enlightenment. Every morning, locals bring food to Buddhist temples. The eldest monks eat first, all the way down to the youngest monks. The Four Noble Truths are 1. Truth of Suffering 2. Truth of the Cause of Suffering 3. Truth of the End of Suffering and 4. Truth that the path to end suffering is contained in the Eightfold Path. Here at the Tiger Cave Temple, to reach the main shrine, visitors have to climb a steep staircase of 1,237 steps. I'm determined to see those mountaintop views at the Tiger Cave Monastery, so let's get climbing. The first three steps on the Eightfold Path are physical and share values in universal love and compassion for all living things. Number one, right speech, speaking only if you can add value. If one cannot say something useful, one should keep noble silence. Number two, right action, being peaceful and honorable in your conduct, not destroying life or stealing. Number three, right livelihood, making a living in a way that adds value instead of a profession that brings harm and harms other living beings. This staircase is exhausting. I think I'm almost halfway there. A thousand steps, it's no joke. Like, look at how steep these steps are. Can't even see, I got sweat dripping in my eyes. The next three steps in the Eightfold Path are mental disciplines. Number four, right effort. Effort that prevents evil states of mind or brings about wholesome states of mind. Number five, right mindfulness. To be deliberately aware and attentive in regards to the activities of the body, like feeling and sensation, and the activities of the mind. The practice of meditative breathing is commonly used to connect with the body and develop this attentiveness. He gets it. <laughs> Number six, right concentration. Desires, cravings, and certain unwholesome thoughts like worry and doubt are discarded, and feelings of joy and happiness are maintained. We made it to the top of the tiger cave temple. The remaining two steps on the Eightfold Path, right thought and right understanding, constitute wisdom. Number seven, right resolve. This denotes the thoughts of detachment, love, and nonviolence toward all living beings. Number eight, right understanding to clear one's path from confusion, misunderstanding, and deluded thinking. So the four noble truths of Buddhism. Suffering, it's inevitable. It's caused by craving and desire. But there is a way out of the suffering. And to do that, you just follow the Eightfold Path. Some see the Eightfold Path as a way of life to be followed, developed, and practiced by each individual. It's a self-discipline in body, word, and mind. I'm just grateful I get to explore these temples, see these beautiful sunsets, and just learn about life. Comment down below if you got any value out of this video. I had a great time making it for you guys and I'm super stoked to do some more things like this in the future.